Kids. Natural Calamities Natural disasters are events that are caused by natural activities. These events take place without any human involvement. Extreme changes in the weather conditions such as heavy rainfall, high temperatures or changes that take place below the earth's surface can lead to natural disasters. Let us learn about some natural disasters in detail. Earthquakes An earthquake is a tremor that occurs due to the sudden movements of vibration below the earth's surface. Sometimes the vibrations are so powerful that they damage buildings, bridges, roads, dams and other structures and cause deaths. However, sometimes earthquakes are so mild that they cannot even be felt. The intensity of an earthquake is highest at its epicenter. The intensity is measured with a device called seismograph. During an earthquake, a seismograph records the vibration of the ground in the form of a graph. Volcanic Eruptions The earth is made up of four distinct layers. Crushed, mantle, outer core and inner core. The temperature increases as we go down from the crust to the inner core. Due to high temperature, the rocks below the surface of the earth are in a molten state, which is called magma. In some places, the magma reaches the surface and erupts through an opening on the top of a mountain called a volcano. The magma rises through the main opening or main vein of the volcano and then comes out. Once it flows out, it is called lava. Sometimes the lava also comes out of a certain weak point on the sides of volcano called secondary vents. Along with lava, volcanoes also release gases, ash and rock. The slow moving lava is a high risk to the surroundings. It can cause damage to life and property. Tsunami Tsunami is a Japanese word meaning harbor wave. A tsunami is a series of giant waves formed in the seas and oceans. On hitting coastal areas, they cause loss of life and destruction to property on a large scale. Tsunamis occur as a result of underwater earthquake or volcanic eruptions. Tsunami wave can completely destroy cities, towns and villages located near the coastal areas. Cyclones Cyclones are giant whirlwind storms. Cyclones are characterized by inverse spiraling winds. They can be correctly and precisely predicted. Cyclones form over warm oceans and can cause devastation. When they approach the shore, they are capable of producing heavy rains, thus flooding the coastal regions. The winds blew at a very high speed and uprooted trees disrupting road transportation and communication. Cyclones are also known as hurricanes and typhoons in different parts of the world. Floods Floods take place when a large amount of water accumulates in a particular area. Floods can occur due to heavy rainfall, cloud burst, rapid melting of snow in the mountains, landslides and breaking of river embankments. Sometimes cyclones can also cause floods. A cloud burst is a certain and heavy downpour which takes place over a particular area of a short period of time. Droughts The shortage of water in an area due to scanty rainfall or absence of rainfall is called drought. A drought leads to crop failure which results the starvation and deaths. Let us recap. An earthquake is a tremor that occurs due to the sudden movements or vibration with the earth's surface. The intensity of an earthquake is measured with a device called seismograph. Tsunamis occur as a result of underwater earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. Cyclones are characterized by inward spiraling winds. Floods are caused due to excess water accumulating in a place. 
while droughts are caused due to failure of rainfall and scarcity of water. Fact The scientific study of volcanoes is also known as volcanology. The branch of science concerned with earthquakes and related phenomena is called seismology.